Hey guys, Jerry the Jester here, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. But before we get going to find the next of the Moon Singers, it's time to promote an artist. And this one is a bit of a throwback and a bit long overdue because I haven't quite shouted this fella out in a while. And it is a throw out to Joshua Vern, or some of you may remember him in the early days of Jester Skull as Joss Larson, one of my old compatriots that I haven't gotten to work with in a while, but that's because he's off in Chicago doing amazing theatrical things, and I will leave information for him, website and whatnot, down below so you can see what my old second half from the Apex of Intelligence videos uh, has been up to. Spoiler alert, it's kind of amazing stuff, but let's go find some dudes who sing at moons in ESO. Okay, so we are at the Bandari Trading Post, looking for the Moon Singer. Safe bet he's down this way. Travel these roads now. You know, it's where I don't, I can't say. Have I been here before on other characters? This looks very different. I don't know if I've been here before. Hmm. New place, great. May explore more of this later. Let's go talk to the dude, Moon Singer Lady. Bro, oh, the lady this time. Okay, hello. Because two shall become three, annoying. As soon as this one rescues Blenthel the Demon Hunter from the alien lair, I'll free you to the heir of the Blackness. These are the words, and the words are true. All right, let's talk, madam. Ms. Vina hopes that you and your friend enjoyed this story. Is there anything else that this one can do for you? Yep, I need to know more. The lore master? Ah, this one hasn't talked to him in a while. Long time. Miss Vino only knows the second part of the story. That is how the moon singers maintain the secrets of the great tales. So Would I've you heard. like to hear the story again? Yes, I came in at the end. In the time before time, when the sixteen kingdoms were young and like kittens at play, the great hero Kumzadil gathered the company of champions to combat the demon and his brothers. They had come to Elsa steal the moons from the sky i like her movements in a time before time i like that shit that's so cool ominous oh indeed yet new reality kunza turned his attention to the next champion he planned to recruit the power of the moons will be ours in the death cat how can two possibly hope to stop many? I like this story. What did he do? Kunzari said, because two shall become three, annoying demon. As soon as this one rescues Blenthil Demon Hunter from the alien lair of Kraken Ebony Plants. These are the words, and the words are true. I like this story. All right, now I know that means that Tharn is behind me, yeah? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Over here, letting me do all the work. You know, the legend of Kunzari is more interesting than I remember. It must be Moonsinger Ms. Bina's delivery. Right? Marginally important. So good. She made the location of the next triangulant quite clear to one of exceptional intellect, such as myself. Oh, good. Where is it? Of course. Only the nearby Black Vine ruins could be referred to as the alien lair of creeping ebony plants. I never cared for carnivorous vegetation. I'll meet you in the ruins after I make one more attempt to catch my elusive stalker. Still getting followed there, buddy? Yes, and with brazen impunity. I almost caught my stalker here at the trading post before they slipped away in the crowd. They're like an insect buzzing around my head that I can't quite swat. Someone with that level of power concerns me greatly. Well, good luck with that. I'll see you there. Okay, so where are these ruins exactly? Oh, man, that's right there. That's a hop, skip, and a jump away. I mean, that's not how I'm getting there. I'm, I'm taking a horse. But hey, glad that it's not super far for once. All right, I'm here. Tharn's here. There's probably something the creepy down there. The singers went to a great deal of effort to separate and hide their clues, but I feel like we're getting closer. You don't say. Well, let's go find some stuff. Now, it did say carnivorous vegetation, so I'm assuming this is going to be bad. Oh, there's a person up there. Ariel, I was supposed to die, not you. 
Is there a side quest in here I should be doing? I, I, I wasn't going to deviate. I probably shouldn't deviate. Uh, how big is this ruin? Very big. Not going to deviate. Sorry, man. See you later. All right, what's waiting? Red sun cutthroats. Okay, some kind of uh, bandits or something. Okay, I was expecting deadly plants. I'm a little... I'm actually pleasantly surprised and much more interested in this. Look at fucking Tharn over there. Standing over there. His arms crossed, letting me do all the fighting. Fucking crude. God, man. Your technique seems adequate. If a bit unrefined. Yes, you've told me that before, you dick. All right, let's fight. Ha! Yeah. And more ice. Cool off, man. She summoned a tiger to fight me, and now she's dead. And so is the tiger. Get out of my way! I'm rooted. Dang it! Here, that's for you. There we go. Always kill the summoner. Ha! I blocked your charge and knocked you down. I am the mightiest of swordsmen. At least right now. Is there a sky shard in here? Every delve's got one. If I can get one instead of going down in the wet, I'm going to avoid going down into the wet. Because that's not where I need to go. And I'm trying really hard to stay focused on the story that I'm on right now rather than getting distracted. That is, that happens a lot when I play this game, you know? This is, it's, it's, again, another thing about this game I love is this is a game where I can just put on these headphones, throw on some of my favorite music, and I can just get lost in this for a very, very long time. And it's been a very great distraction in these trying times. It's been a great emotional release for me. It's been a good means of escape during a time where my other means of escaping in circus shows I can't do right now. So it's been very helpful, and I just absolutely adore this game right now. And it's so good that I slap this person dead. Oh, nope. Now she's dead. You know, beggars can't be choosers, but if this had ragdoll physics for corpses, that would have been some amazing tumbling down the stairs. Rue the Alien Ruins. Uh, taking a left. Okay, go left. I see a lot of bodies over here. Uh, I guess there was a boss. That's a boss strangler. That's not cool. Okay, well, this person's here helping me fight, so I'll take advantage of that. Oh, right. Scabity, 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 do. Bop, bop, do, bop. A lot bamboo. No, no using your big sucker fish lips on me. Shut up. Don't you backseat dungeon on me. Screw you, Tharn. Fucking trying to get things done here. Giant you know, carnivorous plants everywhere, you know, and I'm also just passively looking for a sky shard that I'm hoping is conveniently in this room, but probably isn't, and you're just sitting there making your snide-ass comments. This is why Lyris Titanborn doesn't like you half the time, because every time you get a thought, you don't do the intelligent thing and just let it go. You let it fall out of your mouth, and everybody in the room thinks you're a dick, so stop it. I've had it with you. There's probably more dungeons to do, too. You stupid, you fall back like your hairline and stop talking, Tharn. God damn it. All right, back in one of these puzzle rooms. Oof. Got a little heated there for a second, man. I'm an ice character. I use ice powers, so I should cool down just fine. And yeah, I said it. Fall back like your hairline. Look at that thing. It is, you're not losing hair, you're gaining face. Of course, that's a problem for everybody who has to look at that goddamn thing. Okay. Ah, puzzle! Another prism puzzle. At least the ancient Khajiiti were consistent. This one looks more complicated, so... All Examine right. that stone plaque, will you? Any clue will be helpful. Sure, buddy. Sometimes knowledge can only be found in the dark. The fading moon gives way to the empty sky. Okay, fading moon. So... If I know my lunar cycles, and I sure as fuck don't, um, I'm gonna just... Take a couple of these and see where it's got to go. All right, here's turn this one on. Where's the light gonna go? Nowhere yet. Let's try this empty one here. Let's give this a go. Knowledge can only be found in the dark. Could that refer to the new moon? The button I just put, probably. All right, so nothing's happening there yet, but I feel like the new moons are a start. So maybe it's this one. Let's see. Um, 
Hmm, you know what I think I'm gonna do? Let me turn these off. Um, it says knowledge can only be found in the dark. Adequately done. Oh, now, I got it. The triangle cool. Let's be on our way. Hooray, I totally knew that was gonna happen. Alright, I got Come the moon singer. I can't maintain this portal indefinitely. Oh good. We're going to the next one then, buddy. Great. Well, you know, I was gonna just stop at each one of these, but that one didn't take very long, so let's keep going. So I'm in Reaper's March now, looking for the last of the Moon Singers in Ralka. Let's see here. Deep in Khajiit country right now. So we look for the last one. Of course, you know, we're just looking for Khajiits in general, so. See where the next one is. Looks like they're pretty close by at least. But <laughs> is the is the uh, the ruin I'm inevitably being sent to uh, going to be? That is the question. Oh, where, oh, where is the moon singer? Then Kunitari turned to the rest of his fragile. Got you. Your name's Centipede? Me, a Kajiti queen okay. of renown, an equina sharp tongue, who loves to bask in the glow of the big moon when she reflects and thinks deep thoughts. Oh, <laughs> their name's Satari. I had my cursor aimed at the centipede true. behind them. Okay, well, I missed all of that, so start over. Satari is new to the art of storytelling, so forgive her if she isn't as interesting as she should be. She will improve. Of this she is sure. I have no doubt, but I want to hear the rest of the story still. The dude sent me. Old grandfather, the Lord Master? Satari has heard of him, but has never met him. She was made a moon singer by the previous storyteller to guard the third part of that ancient tale. Neat. Since you arrived so late, should Satari tell the story again? Yes, and thank you for being the first person to point out that I keep showing up at the end. Tell me your part, please. In the time before time, when the sixteen kingdoms roamed with wild abandon, the hero, Kunzarin, gathered champions to deal with a terrible demon and his horde. With Norarian the Perfect and Flynnfield Demon Hunter, he sought a third companion. And who was that? Patience! Satari is getting to that part. Okay, fine. The demon said, Oh, little cat thing, you amuse us. How can three tiny morsels ever stand against us? Kunzari laughed. Ha! We may be tiny, but we are persistent. And tricky too, as you will see. But what did they do? Then Kunzari turned to his Krajun. One more we need. A Kajiti queen of renown. An equina sharp tongue who loves to bask in the glow of the big moon when she reflects and thinks deep thoughts. These are the words, and the words are true. Well, thank you, Moon Singer. All right, perfect. Where's Tharn? Where's that backseat dungeoneer bastard? There he is. Okay, Tharn, I got the last bit. Where are we going? Why was it so obvious this time? This new Moon Singer shows a modicum of promise, but she hasn't yet reached her full potential. Still, the story was interesting, and it points us toward the final triangulant required to make use of the map. Where is it? Oh, yes. The moon singer made it quite clear. Of course. Her tail points to an old shrine not far from here known as Jode's Light, the big moon referenced in the story. Once we collect the final triangulant, I'll be able to use the map to find the weapon. And how do I know you're really going to use it to end the war? Because I know you're a shady son of a bitch. Still don't trust me? Nope. Neither do I. Oh, good. I know what I'm capable of. I'm no better than the fools that lead the alliances. That's why we'll only use the weapon to get them to the negotiating table. Diplomacy works best when facilitated by a big stick. Ah, yes. The old phrase, walk soft and carry a big stick. I'll see you at Jode's Light, you shit. How far am I going? As we approach Jode's Light, we're a here. A moment, traveler. We need to talk. Uh, wasn't expecting that. Okay, there's a person here. In the way, part of my quest. Well, who are you, Kamira? Please, a moment of your time. I need to speak to you about Abner Thorn. Let me guess. He's doing something sketchy. My intentions are honorable. I assure you. I am Kamira, agent for the Speaker of the Main. 
When we learned about Abner Tharn sought the same weapon as Euraxia, the speaker sent me to intervene. And who's that? Euraxia Tharn, Abner's cruel half-sister. She what? conquered my home city of Rimen and proclaimed herself its queen. If she gets her hands on the weapon, Elsewhere's suffering will increase a thousandfold. Well, he never mentioned he had a sister. I do not think they get along. From my observations, Abner seeks the weapon for peaceful ends, but this is a delusion. It is too powerful, too evil. Of course. We must convince Abner to find the weapon before Euraxia does and destroy it. That is the only way. Okay, well, I want to know who all these people... Who's the speaker? Who is that? That would be my master, Garashri. The main can't be everywhere. So Garashri travels and speaks for the main. I suppose you could say I am the speaker's speaker. At least, I am his eyes and ears in this situation. And who's the main? The current spiritual leader of the Kajiti, Izakuzri. He is as wise and honorable as he is. I like ancient. him. I know who that is. And how many agents do you have in Tamriel? Oh, such a question. You do not really expect me to answer that, do you? I will say this, however. There is no one else in Tamriel quite like me. And why not talk to Abner directly? Tharn believes he knows best. He will not listen to me. I am not sure he will even accept your counsel. But you have to try. Uh -huh. At first, I thought Tharn was working with Euraxia. From what I have seen, his mission of peace is sincere. Just misguided. In what way? In every way. Mm. How can something of such power be used safely to stop a war? It cannot. When you require a breeze, you do not summon a tornado. It's well put. We must reach the item before Euraxia and then destroy it. That is the only option. But how'd you avoid him, though? He's very Are good at that Are you always kind of so stuff. direct with your questions? Yes. Oh, very well. Perhaps a bit of honesty will convince you of my intentions. Before my parents died, they gave me a pendant. It blocks all forms of magical detection. It's quite a trinket there. It helps me in my role as agent for the Speaker of the Main. And that is all I would say on this matter. We must focus on finding the item before Euraxia Tharn. I will help you do this, and then we will destroy it. Okay. I feel like we're not going to destroy it. But we'll see how that goes, though. I'm not going to make that decision right now. Let's go get the last piece. Yeah, jeez. Well, I find it fitting that the final triangulant awaits us in a Khajiiti room. That's apropos that guy's wearing that costume right in front of me. That was not intentional. All right, talking to you. I'm beginning to question my own magnificence, if you can imagine such a thing. Despite multiple attempts, I still haven't been able to identify or catch the damnable prowler who has been following me. I have. It's really becoming quite earnest. Well, I met them. A Khajiit? Why would the Speaker of the Main send a powerful wizard to hound me so? Because they don't want to stop your sister. My half-sister? They're aware of her interest in this? You were aware? Hmm. But why didn't this agent of the Speaker simply approach me directly? I would have gladly welcomed her assistance in this matter. She's afraid you'll bark at her ultimate goal. Destroy my one chance to stop the Three Banners War? Never. Don't tell me you agree with this nonsense. That we should allow the Dominion act and covenant to continue to tear Tamriel apart do you want more people to die yeah I'm gonna be honest I kind of want to see where this goes I'm gonna I'm siding with Tharn on this one I think we're gonna use it to stop the war that's the spirit as far as Euraxia is concerned however I am inclined to agree with the speaker of the main's agent we must reach the weapon first I know the dangers we must proceed with the utmost caution now let's find the last triangle let's look around Alrighty, off we go. Alright, we're looking for the secret in Jode's light. Am I going... Taking a right turn? Well, at least it's going to be easy to get to, right? That's not that bad. Not some great big wandering through the whole thing. I guess it's just down here. That's convenient. Alright. 
I do like delves and dungeons and Khajiit territory, though. I love the Indiana Jones vibe they give me. It's always fantastic. Perfect. Hey, gargoyles. Or no, giant bats. The Sky Shard. Oh, I love it. It was right there. Perfect. I love when it's conveniently in my path. That is the only side distraction I'll take are Sky Shards, because thems are helpful. Away, bats. Hit. Get out of here. Don't you hiss at me. Hit. Ah. Ow. Dang it. Yeah, and I'm out of stamina. Boop, dip, dip, slash, poke, stab, bash, and dead. Wonderful. Take all that stuff. Aha, the shard is mine. And a skill point for later. Great. Wonderful. Okay, let's go in here. I'm excited. What's the last puzzle? It's probably more of the uh, light stuff. Ooh, this one looks really cool. I already like it. I hear snakes, though. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Oh, there's a snake. Snack. I don't want that stuff. I don't need it. I'm not here for the side treasures. I'm here for the big treasure at the end. All right. With luck, we'll gather the last triangle and to be done with ancient ruins. Well, there's a lot in this one. What's the thing he say? Kunzari and blank moons. When Kunzari blank mirrored full blank saw blank the lions glared blank other cross other blank across blank blank sky. It's an ad lib. That's not helpful. Guess I'm just gonna hit some buttons and see what happens. Let's try. Let's start here. Alrighty. And then we'll try this one. Some of the words have been chipped away. See what you can make of it. Nothing. I cannot make anything of that. Okay, got that. Now we're gonna just hop on over here and try these. What in doubt? Just turn them all on. See what happens. Okay, got this one. And this one. I had almost made it, you know. Okay, so I've got a couple different beams of light shooting in random places. So now I think I want to turn a couple of these off. Some of these moon tiles are identical. Try different combinations of the mirrored pair. Ooh, that's a good idea. So let's see, which ones are the same? Let's try and pair some up here. Okay. Um. Let's see. Let's turn off this one. I have an idea. The two moons. I'm guessing they're going to be full moons. Let's turn off every tile except the two tiles that are full moons and see if we get uh, a good response there. And then turn off this one. Let's see what we get. So two full moons. Boom! Got it! I hardly doubt it. Now grab the final triangulant and let's return to my camp in Grom. Okay. Triangulant. Gimme. Come along. I can't maintain this portal indefinitely. Yes, you've been saying that several times now. Alright, let's go. Alright, I guess we're at Tharn's encampment in Grotwood. It's a pretty elaborate encampment. It's more of a fortress. Jesus. Once you know where to look, the location becomes perfectly obvious. Come, let's talk. Yes, uh, on, on that big demon-looking tablet there? I'm sure it does. With your assistance, we gathered the three triangulants that allowed me to decipher the map formed by the Rathstone tablet. I now know that the demon weapon resides in the Halls of Colossus, along the southern coast of Elsewhere. The Halls of Colossus? An ancient structure whose purpose and origin is clouded in legend. Some believe it contains the Dwarven Numidian, which could be the weapon we seek. I've chartered a wagon to get us to the coast. Then a boat will take us the rest of the way. I wonder if we're going to get followed. Honestly, I don't give a skeever's ass. She may have been able to track me when I wasn't attempting to conceal our movements, but I made sure to... Hmm. It appears this chimera is more capable than I anticipated. <laughs> she found us, didn't she? The hey! Of Arrogant Imperial. 
Without my assistance, you will never survive that place. Away with you, cat. It falls upon me to end this accursed war. So you can declare yourself emperor? I think not. I will accompany you to find and destroy the weapon. Emperor has never been my ambition. Join us if you want. Just don't get in my way. And at least he's honest. He doesn't want the emperor. Surprisingly clever, those ancient Kajiti. An old tablet, oral histories disguised as fables, and sophisticated triangulant tiles, all pointing to one location, the Halls of Colossus. The abhorrent Three Banners War is practically over. The cat can do as she pleases. Based on the skills she has already demonstrated, however, I'm not averse to having her along. Just realize that I plan to utilize the weapon despite her protestations. Now take this for your effort. Ooh, a little bit of payday there. Halls of Colossus. A place as mysterious as it is ancient. I never imagined I'd have a reason to seek it out, let alone explore it. Let's hope the item we pursue lives up to my expectations. And that we reach it before my half-sister, Euraxia. I know you want to end the war, but what does she want? A few years ago, my deplorable sibling broke protocol and conquered a portion of elsewhere. Mm. I assume she wants the weapon to secure her territory and increase the size of her holding. Nasty. Euraxia's ruthlessness is exceeded only by her ambition. And it doesn't bug you at all? Half-sister. And I have no hesitation in this regard. To best Euraxia, however, we need to reach the Halls of Colossus ahead of her. Give me and Chimera a moment to negotiate an accord we can both live with. Then meet us by the wagon I chartered. I'll meet you by the wagon, then. Take care of any outstanding business you may have as quickly as possible. I want to depart for the Halls of Colossus and find the weapon as soon as we can. All right, and a little reminder of what this is again. The legends call it the Demon Weapon. From what we discovered by researching the Kajiti stories, it's hidden in the Halls of Colossus. I want to use the weapon to end the insipid Three Banners War. Chimera, meanwhile, just wants to destroy it. Okay, good to know. Right then, so there is a wagon over that away, right over there, that I can use to get the next portion, but we're going to do that part just a little later, and we're going to probably see the conclusion of this little Elsewhere prologue and see where this goes and see what becomes of the demon weapon. So in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button on the way out. Ring the bell as well. Subscribe, comment, check out anything I may have done in the past. Check out Joshua Vern down below. And we'll see you next time. Jester out. You don't even know. You seriously, you don't understand how bad you're going to die right now. You too, kid. Ugh, right there. Boom. What are you going to do? Bam! No! Oh, God, right in the chest. Kid, you have picked a dangerous game to play. As have I. It's called Happy Wheels. Oh, no. You know what? I'm not even going to deal with you at all. You're just going to not even. You're just going to odd all over the place. Oh, okay. Didn't die. Didn't. Nope! Oh. <laughs>